Introducing first, fighting out of the red corner, wearing silver with red trim, his official weight 145.6 pounds. Il est invaincu en 14 combats professionnels avec 14 victoires, 10 par KO. His record stands at an undefeated 14 victories, 10 coming by way of knockout in 14 professional bouts. Please welcome from Washington, D.C., USA, David Dede Grayson. Son adversaire dans le coin bleu porte culotte argent et noir et pèse 146,4 livres. Across the ring, his opponent fights out of the blue corner, wears silver with black trim. He tipped the scale at 146.4 pounds. Il est également invaincu en 13 combats, 13 victoires, 12 par KO. Also undefeated in 13 professional bouts with a perfect 13 victories, 12 of those coming by way of knockout. Please welcome all the way from Fort Myers, Florida, USA, Brian Goodfella Perella. Ten rounds here, welterweight division. Grayton and Perella on this night of Ali tributes from Montreal. As we will work our way towards Artur Berbiev in our main event. We are underway here in Quebec. Two southpaws, nobody has an advantage, like looking in a mirror. But the man coming forward, Grayton. Perella being a little longer, is gonna have a chance to counter punch. Chance to catch Grayton coming. You know, at the beginning when they were in the center of the ring, kind of like Ali. Ali liked to look at fighters, look them in the eye, try to get a psychological win before the first bell. Some fighters don't want to look in the eyes of the other fighter. Grayton decided just to look down, not get involved in that psychological warfare that Perillo was looking to get involved in. That is a slip right there. As both gloves touch the canvas, get wiped up by Michael Griffin. Grayton didn't look at Perillo when they were touching him up. But he stared him down right away, being the aggressor coming out, finding his target. That's what counts, what you do when the bell rings. But some people might read into that, that psychological battle there, that Perello looked him in the eyes or tried to look him in the eyes. Maybe he's a little more confident. Now the taller Perello staying out at range, utilizing that southpaw jab. Again, great in the man without the power. Or not as much power as Perella's record would indicate. Oh, good but shot man, by Perella. But the man coming forward, and when you come forward the way Grayton does, you give Perella, the longer guy, the man on the outside, a chance to nail you on the way in. Perella seems to have a good identity in there, understanding, and a good fight plan, understanding what he needs to do against Grayton, where his advantages are, and they lie on the outside. Catching Grayton as Grayton tries to get in. Braden trying to corral him into that blue corner. Good left hand about halfway through this first round landed by Bryant Perella. Most of the fight for Grayton on the East Coast, Washington to see why most of Perellos have been in the South and the West. Just off of the geography of where fighters fought, I'm guessing Grayton has been in maybe with better opposition and therefore maybe maybe better ready or better prepared better tested for this fight this big step up tonight and just the experience joe of going rounds as great and has gone and being in you know contested tougher fights just might give him an edge if this fight goes deep you have to know you've been there also has the amateur background that we will focus in on a little more in a moment as we come to the end of round number one. Chance to catch up with Bernardo Asuna. Eh, salir tranquilo a pelear, manejar la distancia y tratar de conectar lo, los golpes certeros y buscar el hueco. Ya lo hemos visto pelear, así que ya más o menos sabemos qué plan de pelea tenemos. Y, y bueno, estamos con muchas ganas, con, mucha, con muchas ansias de subir al ring. I'm anxious to get back in the ring. We've studied my opponent. We know what his weaknesses are. We're going to try to exploit them. I'm going to try to use my length. He is a big puncher, but we're going to try to neutralize him here tonight. I'm just very anxious to get in the ring. Thank you very much for your time. Gracias. 
Well, both these fighters know exactly what they need to do. Great needs to get close, and Perella again, is longer, taller, dictating on the outside. Round number two here. Great and 14 and 0 fighter from Washington, D.C. Great leaves himself too wide open when he tries to get in. Big advantage for Perello if he continues to stay on the perimeter. Control that outside, don't give up that height. Big advantage for him. You know, I use this analogy every once in a while, Joe, you know, kind of like when you're a kid and you're trying to go up that hill and there's kids up that hill and they're throwing things at you. I mean, you're trying to go up the hill, they have the edge, they're on top of the hill, and there's a knockdown. Knockdown scored here Not in round number hill. two Five, by Bryant Perella. Six, get up the hill this way. Seven, eight. Yeah. You know, again, Five. Grayton trying to get up that hill, and Perella's standing there and saying, hey, I'm gonna chuck things at him, like that. Oh, he oh, caught him well! Big edge. Southpaw right hook, and he backs up the undefeated David Grayton. The things that can happen when unbeaten prospects are willing to meet up. You find out about yourself, and Brayton is finding out Perella may be the real deal and too much. Can he survive here? Final half minute of round two. This is where Perella should go to the body. Another big right hand from the There's southpaw the Perella. Go to the body, freeze the head a little bit. Big left hand staggers him. Brayton doesn't look good at all. Michael Griffin's giving it a look. He's battering with headshot after headshot as Grayton goes down and the fight is over. Offensive surge by Bryant Perella as David Grayton suffers the first loss of his career. Referee Michael Griffin stops this contest at two minutes, 19 seconds of the second round. The winner by TKO, Le Gagnon, par KO Technique, Brian. Good fella, Perella. 27-year-old Floridian, now 14-0 with 13 knockouts. And for David Grayton, the first loss of his career, his mark is 14-1. and